I know it might be Michaela Cash, is my guess. <laughs> Michaela Cash is speaking tonight at Q&A and we're here to tell her that Australian seafaring jobs and jobs on the wharves are not negotiable and we want our jobs for our kids and our grandkids as well. Probably need the gear out of the way don't we? Yeah. Get that, can you swing that back My name's Dane Barringer, I'm a Sydney seafarer. I'm here to fight for the rights of the next generation. We're all qualified. All you want is a fair go, Michaela. Please explain. Australian jobs, mate. Michaela Cash is on Q&A tonight, and I think that she's one of the small crew of uh, hardline Liberals that are instrumental in what they're doing to our economy, to working class people. I don't know if we have an organiser, I think we're all in it together. We're just independents here, mate. We're all, we're all, we're all just uh, Australians looking after Australian jobs. Yeah, no, that's fine. Have you registered this with the New South Wales Police? I'd be surprised if we haven't. That's all we want to know. It's fine. No worries. Have you called the police, have you? Sorry? Have you called the police? I have. Somebody has then? Possibly, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm here to support Aussie Seafarers. Uh, the Q&A panel tonight has Michaela Cash, and we're just trying to catch the crowd here and, and make sure they hear about it. We keep our Australian waterways safe, we protect our environment and we get the job done. We're up in the northwest building great big gas production facilities and doing great work for Australia and nobody gets to see what we do. So that's why I'm here in full kit. The youth have sent in video questions and we're hoping that gets a run. And I think the youth have done a great job today. It, you know, these young seafarers, it's their future that's at stake and they need to be heard. A question from Michaela Cash. Can you honestly tell me how it benefits this country to remove Australian workers out of Australian jobs? And then we want to put them. Aussies back on the water, on our coast, going up and down, how it should be, like America, the Jones Act. We're an island, you know, it's not really rocket science. We need a good merchant navy and we need all the jobs that come with it. We need the whole economic package that a good merchant navy brings. Michaela Cash has just bypassed the Senate. She's using visas to, to get rid of us. I'm hoping that the question's asked on Q&A tonight, and if it's not, you know, well, we're trying to let the crowd know what's going on. While there are hundreds of Australian seafarers unemployed on the settling queue, waiting to get back on their ships where they have been forced to be removed by security guards or police officers. Hey. Thanks, baby. Thank you. And I went and asked the security guard um, if there was any cancellations, if he mind, if I took one of the seats in there, and he said, uh, you're kidding, aren't you? And I said, no, I really, I really love Q&A and I love the ABC and he just laughed. Love it. <laughs> Pretty important for national security too, you know. Yeah, and for jobs, yeah, that's right. Cheers, mate. Michaela Cash, who's a guest at tonight's show, is on the panel and she's refused to explain to us why she's made policy changes outside of the legislation to put seafarers on the Australian coast out of jobs. So we're providing all of the guests who are on their way into the studios with information about the policies that are attacking Australia. Foreign ownership to foreign jobs. The next question is from Matthew Lawrence. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Um, I'm an unemployed Australian merchant seafarer. Why would any government in their right mind replace taxpaying Australian seafarers with exploited foreign seafarers working on 457 visas working for as low as $2 an hour? Alan Jones, I'll start you off on that. Well, it's, it's obvious. Absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ridiculous. I think we've uh, let people know what's currently happening under the attacks of the Conservative Liberal government, Turnbull government, and hopefully we've uh, got a few of the questions aired that we've tried to put to Q&A in the past. It's just I want just to see coastal shipping in Australia competitive. Michaela, just pause your second. No, I'll, I'll come back to you. Thank you. You know, how can we compete on two, with $2 an hour? It's impossible. What, what, right. what can, can you pay a mortgage, your, your child's education, hospitals on $2 an hour? 